Good morning and welcome to 2022 at Windy Hill Kennel. Another year under our belt. Uh, this will be the 33rd year we've been in business as a kennel. So it has been a long haul and I'll tell you what, we have been blessed. My grandmother used to tell me, she's the one that raised me, I had ponies and horses and um, used to break horses for other people. And she said, only you could have, make a living and stay home and raise dogs and have a horse supply business. So we have a draft horse supply business for those of you who don't know. Uh, it's called mydrafthorse.com on the internet. And uh, we were doing commercial horse shows for 26 years, actually 27 years, um, about 26 shows a, a year out of state, including the Quarter Horse Congress, until my husband's accident when he drove a tractor over a 45 foot cliff. So that ended that, and um, so we now are homebound with the draft horse business. No more commercial horse shows, but I don't miss it. I miss the people. Uh, these guys are doing really good. This is Winnie's kids, and we decided not to put them on the floor. I know you're scared up here. You'll be all right. This one is usually, it runs everywhere. Uh, they are now up and running all over the kennel with mom. They uh, were four weeks old yesterday. I actually gave them their first Neopar shot yesterday and I really hated to stick them. Uh, to give one cc of injection to puppies this little was, oh, broke my heart. Um, but they're doing really super good and they are growing like weeds. They're gonna get a bath today. Um, probably their toenails, no, they're, they're not too bad. We trimmed them last week, but um, so I'm hoping they don't get up and go frolicking across this table. But I thought this way you could see them a lot better than me putting them on the floor. Next week they're going on the floor. There's no doubt they won't be able to do this up on the table next week. Um, so we're gonna start with the little one. This little Peabody, she is so tiny. <laughs> you get her wet and there's nothing there. She is 8282 is her microchip number. And you can really see around their eyes where that silver is starting to take effect. And I see the back of her ears are finally turning. And their bellies are turning. They've got a little bit of dry skin right now, which we can't figure out why. But uh, So we're going to get some stuff from the vet and treat them for dry skin. And uh, they're starting to eat. Oh, you're gonna, you can get up and walk around. You're, you're chicken, aren't you? She's usually... We actually took her away from her mother for a while. And she's back with her mom. So I did change these guys to a new dog food. Um, we've decided that all these little moms of ours, uh, Winnie got so skinny trying to nurse these guys. She got down to five and a half pounds and was just skin and bones. So we actually took this one away, gave it to Meadow for about a week. And it did great, nursed off of Meadow. <laughs> but it couldn't understand why no one would play with her. She would get up and walk around and walk over top of Meadow's babies because their eyes weren't open yet. And, um, but we, we switched them to a dog food called Fromm. It's a very, uh, it's a high-end dog food. It's got a lot of salmon, a lot of salmon oil in it. And uh, so these guys right now aren't old enough to eat the big pieces. They're chewing at them, but they, uh, they're still on, um, American National Starter, which is really super tiny pieces, and they are eating that. Once they get a little bit bigger, they will eat the from. So I am sending them home with you with from dog food when they go home. So um, if you don't have a source, <laughs> did you bring that along with you? This one has a piece of from in its mouth. <laughs> Just spit it out. <laughs> did you bring that down for show and tell? <laughs> I couldn't have asked it to drop that at any more of appropriate time. So that's how big Fromm is. And uh, put that there. Did you bring that? I know. <laughs> Vanessa must have picked her up while they were eating. So I lied. They are eating Fromm. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to send you home with Fromm dog food. And uh, we have decided that even all of our little moms from now on, we're putting them all on Fromm. Um, so anyway, no. Let me turn this back on again. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, okay, here we go. Did I pick the right one up? Mm -mm. Nope, I didn't. Ah, 
I wondered that when I picked her up. She didn't feel like this one. There we go. 82, 82. All right. She is 15.4 ounces. She is a pocket puppy. Huh. We have one of Alexa's going home today, the last one, and she is two pounds and five ounces, and she is 10 weeks old, I think, probably 10 weeks old today, or this week. Um, so this one's not going to, to get big at all. Uh, I know you're shaking. Are you really nervous? Your sisters aren't nervous. Let's do the other black one. So this is the other black one. This is 8286. You can really see around these eyes where they're really starting to turn salt and pepper. And she is one pound, 3.8. So she's quite a bit bigger than the other one. All right. Since you packed your lunch with you. <laughs> That's so funny. 8287 is this one's microchip number. And this one's going to go live in Indiana. So, oops. One pound, three, well, well, one pound, four ounces. So she and the other black one aren't too far apart in size. They are cute. They're like little tiny wind-up toys. If they spit another piece of frome out, <laughs> maybe we should check your mouth before you come down, guys. Huh. I know it. What do you think? In the kennel, they're starting to romp. They play with each other. Uh, they try and chew each other's legs and feet. They don't have any teeth yet. This shaking is just nerves. Um, and I'm not going to baby her because if you have a puppy that goes home and it's in a certain, uh, maybe a new circumstance or something's going on different and it starts shaking, you don't want to comfort it and love it and pet it because you're rewarding the action. So... If I'm calm and they're calm, the other pups aren't doing this. It's just, she's like, oh, I don't know about this. But they are doing super good. I'm going to hold them up here so I hope you can get some good face pictures. Let me get all three of them. The little one's in the middle and the two bigger ones on the outside edge. But hopefully you can zoom in and get some really cute close-up face pictures. I'm really anxious to where we can put them on the ground and let them run and play. That's going to be when it turns fun. I know many of you are going to ask, or the three of you are going to ask me, when they can go home. Uh, I know the party one will be able to go home. Uh, that one and the big one probably way before this one can. I, I want to make sure that they are, I'm not even going to wean them <clears throat> until probably maybe eight weeks old. Um, once, and, and I think right now, Mom is still, she's still laying with them all the time, but she is starting to walk away, go play. They're starting to walk away from her and go play. So I think it'll be a lot better uh, to let them kind of wean themselves naturally. And I don't want to rush them out the door. I know you're anxious for them to go, but I really don't want to rush them out and have them go home and not be good on your end. The, the thing with the small dogs is hypoglycemia. They need to stay on the same food schedule that we have them on here, the same diet that we have them on here. And um, I don't, you know, a lot of people, I will let them go home super early. <clears throat> and I've bought dogs. Um, I bought, well, when Willie came here, Willie weighed a pound eight ounces. And we had a lot of trouble with Willie. Um, he never got hypoglycemic on us, but we had a hard time getting any weight on him. Um, I think he was pulled right off a of mom and left. So I don't, I, I don't do that. I, I want to know that you're going to get a good, healthy puppy. I want to know that, that I haven't stressed the mom to wean him too early or the puppies. And so we're just not in any rush to rush these little teeny ones out. But I'm pretty sure that by the time this one is nine or ten weeks old, it'll be able to go home and probably so will this one. But I just want to make sure that we get them to that point with no problems. So I, for today, I guess that's all I can tell you. Um, I hope you enjoyed their video and they're doing super good. She says there, I'm going to stand up. Nah, maybe not. Yeah, maybe. She says this is just totally not where I'm used to being. She says, I'd like to go look around, but I'm afraid to. <laughs> All right, well, you guys have a great week. I hope you enjoyed their videos. If you have any question at all,
please, please don't hesitate to give me a call. And uh, have a great rest of your week and a happy new year.